Hey, for Spec Rescue International, I'm Travis Wood. Today on the Spec Show, I'm going to talk to you about the Hilti DD-130 electric core drill. Before I get into the particulars with the Hilti DD-130, I want to talk to you about core drilling. Why do we do it? What, what's the need? Uh, what, what kind of information can we gain from it? Well, it's a, it's a lot of things. Um, first and foremost, it's victim location. If a dog comes by, gets a hit, um, or a search person gets a hit, we, may, we need to know where the patient is behind that piece of concrete, because that's going to dictate how we're going to go after and get them. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is, uh, is put a hole into that piece of concrete. All right, typically it's going to be about two inches. That's going to do a couple things for us. One, it's going to give us the ability to get a camera in there and, uh, and, and hopefully uh, see what's behind the wall, see the victim location. If the victim is conscious, we may be able to talk to them. We may be able to get them uh, uh, emergency needs, whether it be you know, oxygen tubing, water, food, whatever we can do to help uh, stabilize them before we can get in there and get to them. Um, the other thing it's going to do is going to give us the ability to, uh, to do some atmospheric monitoring. The last thing I want to do is send a rescuer into a hazardous atmosphere. Atmosphere. So I want to make sure that, I'm, that, that, I, that I'm, I have the ability to, uh, to monitor that area before I send somebody in there. Um, when, you, when you see an edge of a concrete, it's real, it's, uh, it's real easy to tell how thick it is. But you know, I might be on the top of a pile somewhere and that edge may be way far away or buried under debris. I may have no idea how thick the concrete is that I'm going through. All right, and, and by coring, that's gonna also, I'm going to learn that. I'm going to learn how thick that piece of concrete is, um, the makeup of it, uh, where, where, uh, hopefully where the rebar is or the amount of aggregate in it. All those things are going to help me choose the proper tool package to defeat that piece of concrete and make the rescue. Just like many of the tools that we use, there's lots of different manufacturers out there, uh, lots of different models. Um, some of them are, are electric powered, some of them are gas powered. Again, it's just all about matching the tool, the specific tool you need. For, uh, for the job at hand. Okay, today I'm going to talk specifically about the Hilti DD-130. Um, this is this particular tool is one that it was designed and built by Hilti for the specific function. This is one of the uh, the few core drills that are out there that was built specifically for core drilling. First thing I want to talk about is the bit. Okay, you can see this is a two-inch bit. We already talked about the uh, the need for our, or the ideal two-inch hole. All right, and you can see just the very leading edge of this are the teeth. Okay, these are a diamond matrix cutting surface. We don't actually cut the concrete, we actually grind, okay? And, and as we grind through it, um, we can actually go through whatever is in that concrete, whether it's rebar, um, other pieces of steel, whatever's in there, this will have the ability to grind through it, okay? Which is, which is very important to note about this, uh, this diamond cutting uh, matrix is it's got to be lubricated with water. Okay, both internally fed and, and on the outside. It's gotta have, you gotta have a water source to be able to use this type of a bit when you're doing coring. Next, I'm gonna show you how to mount the, dr the, the bit into the drill. Okay, Hilti's got a proprietary uh, locking mechanism. It's a collar. Um, you can spin it down to, to release it and then gently pull down. You can see the, the locking pins release from the inside. And then all I'm gonna do is line up the grooves into the slot. I'm going to release the locking collar and I'm going to spin it. When I spin it, it'll bring the locking collar up until it's tight and now I know that I'm locked in. I talked about the need, especially with the diamond matrix, to be internally fed water. Well, this is the mechanism that allows you to do it. Simple uh, hose hookup right here. All right, and then you can see there's balls on the inside of this. As I, as I put water on and turn on the water, you'll see these balls run around, all right, and this is my adjustment for the water, okay, the, 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 the more I open it, obviously the more water is going to come out, the less I open it, the slower those balls are going to run, and that becomes important when you're going through the material uh, to get the right mixture, the right slurry to allow you to, uh, to grind through the material or cut through the material, but again, this is internally fed through the bit into the material that you're going through. Next, I have a speed selector switch. I have speed one, two, and three. One being the slowest, three being the fastest, okay? Um, where that becomes important is the size of the bit. Typically, with a two-inch bit, we're going to be on speed two. Um, the larger the bit, the slower. So the, the smaller the bit, the faster. So a one-inch bit would be on speed three, 
and a, uh, and a three inch beat bit would be on speed one. Okay, next I've got the variable speed trigger here. Um, just like any other variable speed trigger, if the, the more I pull it, the faster the, the drill is gonna go. Um, it's very important that this drill be ran at full RPM. Anytime we're doing any kind of core drilling, it needs to be done at full RPM. You're gonna get the, 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 best, uh, the best cut that way. All right. We already talked about water. Uh, uh, water and electricity don't mix. So Hilti has a, uh, a internal GFI uh, built into the cord. Every time we plug this in and get ready to start, we've got to hit the GFI button in order to reset it. Again, with any of your tools, make sure you're familiar with how they operate and, and the functions you're going to be using them in. For the Spec Show, I'm Travis Wood.